I am Rebecca and these are my reviews and I have a bunch of products that I have used up. There's a bunch of it. Okay, so let's go through uh, my beverages first. Oh, there's coffee grounds falling everywhere. Okay, so I have a bunch of Lion Coffee. I always have Lion Coffee because it's my favorite. It's a Hawaiian brand. This one is the Kaka'ako Caramel, which was super yummy. This one is Toasted Coconut Coffee. This one is not Lion, but I buy it from the same, I think it's just called Hawaii Coffee Company. And I buy it online. I usually get $5 shipping. And a lot of times they run deals with like 20% off and stuff. So I love it. You can get some of these in regular grocery stores at some places, but I just always buy mine online. Okay, I also have a decaf vanilla macadamia, which is super tasty. And then I have some other brands. This one is Red Rooster Coffee. I got this from a coffee subscription box. I can't remember which one it was now, but it was really, really good coffee. I was super impressed with this. They did like a quiz where they matched me with my tastes and then sent me this and I actually truly enjoyed it. <laughs> This one I got as a gift, Monastery Blend Coffee. This is the Christmas blend, and that was really yummy as well. And this one, which my neighbor actually gave me, these guys have their own YouTube channel. It's called The Something Movement, uh, I don't remember. And they have a coffee line called The Morning Movement. And this one is Kaylee's Beans 2.0. It was actually really, really good. Okay, and then I have a couple packages of Coco Locks. These are hair vitamins to help you grow your hair nice and long. They also help like your nails and stuff like that. I was drinking this all the time when I grew my hair super long and then I chopped it all off. And then I kind of stopped, you know, when I had short hair, but I'm trying to grow my hair out again. So I started drinking this again. I just ordered two more bags. Um, they also, this is from a company that's like Skinny Coffee, which I've never had, I've never tried, I have no interest in, but I do love their Coco Locks. Okay, I also have a bunch of alcohol. <laughs> I included alcohol in one of my previous videos and you guys were like, yes, thank you for doing that. It makes me look like an alcoholic, but just remember that this is over the past several months. Okay, so I have some Rittenhouse Rye. I got this for a shaker and spoon, loved this. Turns out I'm a huge fan of rye, plus the rye cocktail box was amazing. This is Jameson, just the regular old Jameson. I also have some of their like the stout cask versions and stuff, which are okay, but I generally prefer the original or maybe some of the aged ones. But Jameson is a great go-to Irish whiskey. Four Roses is my new go-to bourbon. It's just a really smooth, easy drinking bourbon. It is perfect for cocktails. Generally speaking, I don't drink bourbon straight up, but I love this for cocktails. This is Pisco, which I believe is Chilean, I wanna say. I don't know, anyway, it's really good. It's similar to tequila, but not really. It's its own thing. I first got this when we were doing, it was a food box and it was, it was Peruvian. And the company who we were reviewing actually sent this to me and we made some Pisco sours. It was my first time ever having a Pisco sour. You guys, they are amazing, so delicious. So I actually started using this in my margaritas because Colin can't do tequila. Tequila makes him pass out. He's just, it like makes him narcoleptic. He has one margarita and he can't keep his eyes open. So I give him Pisco or maybe even vodka and then he's okay, he can handle it. Something about tequila, I don't know. But Pisco sours are amazing. And then good old Bailey's, which, you know, I usually end up putting in my coffee, but it's good in all sorts of things. It's a classic, it's delicious. Okay, and then I have a bunch of Ticino. I love me some Ticino. This one is the Chaga Ashwagandha, which is a mushroom herbal tea that's supposed to be super good for you. This one is the gingerbread. This was a seasonal flavor, so I'm not sure if they still have it, but you should always check their site because they come out with different flavors all the time. They've been doing the mushroom thing a lot lately and their seasonal flavors like the gingerbread are so tasty. And then this one is dandelion turmeric, which I drink all the time because turmeric is supposed to be really good for you. It's supposed to help with inflammation as well as just your immune system in general. Plus it tastes really good, so it's a good way to get turmeric 
where it doesn't just taste like turmeric, you know what I mean? <laughs> and then this one is Snickerdoodle, which was another seasonal flavor. I drink tea chino pretty much every single night. It is my dessert. I've been trying to kick my sugar habit, so the one thing that I allow myself a day is a big mug of tea chino with whipped cream. <laughs> and that is my nightly dessert that I always look forward to and love, and because each bag is only like, I don't know, 15 calories or something like that. I figure the whipped cream isn't that bad and I don't have to add any extra sugar to it because it's already a little bit sweet and with the whipped cream it's just it's perfect. I love it. Okay and then I have some laundry sheets. Um, so I have one from Earth Breeze and two from True Earth. So I switched to Earth Breeze just because it's easier for me to get because True Earth is a Canadian company and it took forever to get here but they're both like around the same price. They do the same thing as far as I can tell. They're equally good and wonderful and it's so much easier to store these envelopes than a big plastic jug plus uh, it's better for the environment and I swear the little sheets are really effective. They get my laundry nice and clean and smelling good, so I've been very happy with these. Obviously, I've been through several packages. I do a lot of laundry, you guys, and I am very impressed with these laundry sheets. So now I always have a bunch of these Bath and Body Works foaming hand soaps because they're my favorite. These are like guilty pleasure of mine. This one is Turquoise Waters. I have Bamboo Paradise. This one isn't foaming. I got this on sale and it was an accident. I didn't mean to get the non-foaming. I prefer the foaming. Uh, this one is Seaside Waves. We have a Twisted Peppermint and a Crushed Candy Cane. The crushed candy cane I prefer over the twisted peppermint. I thought they were going to basically be the same, but the crushed candy cane has um, like a vanilla scent to it mixed in with that super strong peppermint and it just it just smells really lovely almost more like baked goods than just straight up peppermint candy and then sweater weather which I love. I just got a whole new batch of foaming hand soaps that are more like spring and summer scented. Okay, so this is Love, Beauty, and Planet, and this is the Shea Butter and Sandalwood Majestic Moisture Body Wash. I got this, I think, in a two-pack, and I really like it. It's just a good, lovely body wash that smells really nice, and it's moisturizing, which is good because I have really dry skin. This one, Everyman Jack Body Wash and Shower Gel. This one it, I got for Colin. This one is Cedarwood. Smells so good. He he is not a big like cologne person. He wears cologne occasionally when we go out or something, but I like to get him body washes and things like this so that he smells really good. You know, he's never like stinky, but this way he smells more like cologne and it's just from his body wash. This one is from Duke Cannon. This is the News Anchor Hair Wash in Cedarwood and it's for thick hair. He said it was okay, you know, he didn't seem to feel one way or the other about it, but it smelled really good. This is a body cream from Bath & Body Works, Snowflakes and Cashmere. I thought this smelled really nice. It was kind of a fancy scent. Like that's what I wore when I was trying to dress up. You know, it just smelled a little more perfumey than a lot of their lotions and body creams, um, but I did really like it, used it up. I, in fact, I had a gingerbread one and I did not like that one. Didn't use it, just tossed it because it just did not smell good, but that one I liked. This is from Mark Anthony. This is their Hydrating Coconut Oil and Shea Butter Volume Hairspray. And I really like this. They say that it's an extra hold fullness and volume. For me, I felt like it was more of a relaxed hold. Like it gave me really bouncy soft hair, but it didn't like hold my hair in a crunchy position, if that makes sense. And it smells really, really good. I really like their coconut line, like all of the, the stuff in that line smells really good. And I really like that hairspray. I'm gonna have to get another one as soon as I run out of my other hairsprays. I have three things of this Opta Women multivitamin. I like getting vitamins specifically for women because they have a lot more of like iron and sometimes they have, I think this has biotin in it and folic acid, things like that that are specific to women's needs and these are great you know obviously I went through three packages of them I ended up getting a different it was like a one a day women's multivitamin and it was supposed to be for metabolism like to give you extra energy because I'm always tired and I realized that they have caffeine in them. So I'm gonna switch back to these ones because I really like these. I usually take them at night, but like I said, they have a lot of you know B vitamins and stuff in them. So I do feel like 
They are good for your metabolism, overall energy. They have iron and all of that stuff that I need. So those are great, I like them. These are from Oli, Oli, how do you say that? These are the sleep gummies. I've gone through several tubs of these. Colin and I, you know, anytime it's like, I just can't sleep, I'm too wired or whatever, I would take these. I have now been using my CBD sleep gummies that I got from oh, the latest CBD company that I reviewed. So I really like the CBD sleep gummies, <laughs> but these are great too especially you know if you don't want CBD for some reason these are awesome this is from bourbon barrel foods they have amazing stuff check out their website they have such good stuff this is their Kentucky Yaki they have uh, like their an original flavor and this one is the spicy you guys this is amazing it is so good it's a little bit teriyaki it's a little bit soy sauce but it has all these other wonderful flavors in there this one is spicy it's just so good on everything. I usually end up putting it on like stir fry or any sort of vegetables. It's great on rice. It's good on just, you know, any sort of meat product. It's amazing. It's just one of those all around amazing flavors that I love. Okay, I have a bunch of like beauty and skincare now. Some drunk elephant. Love me drunk elephant. This one is the TLC Framboose Glycolic Night Serum. I use this one usually twice a week. I just recently switched to their Peptide Proteiny Serum, which is supposed to be a little bit more gentle. That one is like a lactic acid, whereas this one is a glycolic acid. So I'm gonna see how my skin fares with that one, but I do love this one. It helped my skin clear up from acne, as well as just sort of soften fine lines and sun damage and all of that stuff. It is a resurfacing serum. And then this one is the TLC Sakuri Baby Facial. This stuff is like basically like that, but on steroids. It's way stronger. So this one I use like once every two weeks or so. And this one is a mask. So you put it on, leave it on for 20 minutes, wash it off, and then put on marula oil because your skin has just been like completely peeled off. I mean, not like that. I, I make it sound so dramatic. It's just that I have sensitive skin and so using this more than like even once a week would be a lot. Um, but I love this. Every time I use this, my skin looks amazing. It feels so soft. It's just, I love it. I love it so much. Okay, this I got from Ipsy's Refreshments line. This is their Luscious Hand Cream and Citrus Spritz. I like this, you know? I, I usually use hand cream like this before I go to bed. Like, it's the last thing I do. I put on lotion, then I go to sleep. And I liked it. It had a light citrus scent to it and a nice texture. This is Verify 2020 Eye Cream. I got this in an Ipsy bag, I believe. And this was a really great eye cream. I really liked it. This is just a little sample size of the Clean It Zero. It's a cleansing balm. Like a makeup removing cleansing balm. I really like this stuff. I have another sample size too that I'm like saving for when I start traveling. Now that I'm all vaccinated, I'm starting to go out. We even stayed in a hotel last weekend and I brought some of this with me because it's a really, really good makeup remover and it's just like gentle and lovely feeling on your skin. I have a Julep Perkett Under Eye Treatment Brightener. This was okay. I didn't find it to be super amazing. I like a lot of the Julep products. I haven't been been getting them ever since they stopped their subscription box, but I did like that okay. This is the Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Light Neutral. I finally ran out of it. It took me so long. This stuff is really thick and heavy duty, but I like to wear it on days when I'm filming or if I'm going full glam and I want the extra coverage. I don't use this on a day-to-day -day basis because um, it, it's just a little too much. It's, it's you know, a heavy, full coverage, major concealer. So, you know, I do love it and I would absolutely repurchase it, but it's not my day-to-day -day concealer. Okay, some native deodorant. This one is the Coconut and Vanilla Sensitive. I love native deodorant. It's great, it's awesome. I would highly recommend it, especially the Sensitive because it doesn't have baking soda in it and it still works really, really well. Um, I also really love the Zion Health Clay Dry deodorant that's probably in my opinion the most effective natural deodorant that i've used that doesn't irritate my skin so i love that as well but native is awesome and it's becoming easier and easier to get to like you can buy it at target okay this is a kate somerville goat milk moisturizing cream i love kate somerville products i just think that so many of them are just really nice they're not overly harsh 
and their moisturizers are really nice. They feel really good on your skin. They're lightweight, but super hydrating. I love it. This is from Lush. This is the Rump Cheeky Balm. This is supposed to be good for like, you know, your tushy and I guess like cellulite and stuff because it does have caffeine in it. And I liked this. It had a really floral scent to it. So I didn't, it wasn't crazy about the scent, but I liked the texture and I do like using caffeinated creams on my thighs and booty because that's my jiggly bits. <laughs> this also from Lush is the Yognog. This was, I think, probably around Christmas. And this one smells a little like burnt caramel. Ugh, it smells really, really good. Um, I thought it was gonna smell like eggnog. It didn't. To me, it smelled like burnt caramel. Not burnt like gross burnt, but just like that toasted kind of a, a scent. It smelled really good. And it had a little bit of a shimmer to it too. It's a body conditioner. It was really thick and heavy duty, but I loved it. This is the Beauty Blender Bounce Foundation. I have the shade 2.40. I actually really, really liked this. They got a really bad rap when they first came out because they launched with a primarily white girl line. Like there was not a lot of variety in the shades and not a lot of dark shades. Um, this one worked for me, but I'm a white girl. So the texture, the, the actual, the actual product, I really liked. I thought that it went on nicely, it sat on my skin really well, but again, you know, I don't know if they have since added colors. I certainly hope so. I have not looked into it though. This is from Marula Beauty. This is their Pure Marula Facial Oil. I love this stuff. It has a little bit of essential oils in it, just a little bit, which doesn't irritate my skin at all, but I know that's something that some people are sensitive to. So, you know, just one thing to keep in mind, like the Drunk Elephant Marula Oil is pure Marula Oil, no essential oils are added to anything. This is really nice though, and I really, really like it. I've gone through several of these bottles, and they have a bunch of other products as well that I really like. They have like a hair thing and a lip thing, and you know, all kinds of stuff that's really awesome. This is from Skin & Co. In and this is their Truffle Therapy Illuminating Skin Refresh Mist. I loved this stuff. I thought it was really nice. It was just a little bit hydrating without being like oily or overly anything. The mist on this wasn't super fine. So the way that I usually used this is I like to put it like a dollop of foundation and just kind of smoosh it on my face and then spray it with something like this and then blend it in with a foundation brush and it just helps keep my skin hydrated it helps my foundation to not look too cakey and i really like this i use the whole darn thing up and i have so many facial sprays so i feel like for me to actually use one entirely is saying something and then this is a derma e firming dmae eye lift Derma E is an awesome brand, and this is a great, nice, creamy, hydrating eye cream. So, you know, absolutely loved this. And that is it, that is all of my empties. A lot of stuff, all of the information will be in the description box. I'll try to leave links for everything if there was anything that you wanted to check out. Oh, I missed a, a vitamins. This one is from Align, it's kids probiotic. Healthy tummies, happy kids. I always give my kids probiotic gummies because they have tummy issues. One of them poops too much, one of them doesn't poop enough. I give them probiotics, everybody poops regularly. Yay! <laughs> These ones they both like. I was giving them the Smarty Pants kids ones and um, I was told that it tastes like old lipstick. These ones everybody thinks taste good and they seem to be doing the trick. So, yeah. Okay, so that's it. Again, everything will be in the description box. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.